Qualcomm 3144P temperature transmitter provides industry-leading accuracy, stability, and reliability. This video will demonstrate how to accurately wire and configure the most common temperature sensors that can be used with this transmitter. Note that inside the transmitter's back cover are wiring diagrams printed for reference. These wiring diagrams are also provided inside the Quick Start Guide. To begin, twist the wires on the sensor together to form a single wire braid. Then, slide the wires through any conduit opening of the transmitter and screw in the sensor by hand until snug. Applying sealant to the sensor threads beforehand is a recommended practice. Use a wrench to tighten the sensor to local standards. The sensor wires and power connections must now be attached. Because the 3144P can accept two separate sensor signals, the transmitter can be wired using a dual element sensor or two individual sensors. Remember, the wire colors will vary based on manufacturer and sensor type. Here is the proper wiring configuration when using two thermocouples. Note that for the first thermocouple, the positive wire is connected to terminal 2 and the negative wire is attached to terminal 3 along with the negative wire from the second thermocouple while the positive wire is connected to terminal 4. Here is the proper wiring configuration for a three-wire RTD sensor and a thermocouple. Note that the single red wire from the RTD is connected to terminal 1 and the two white wires are attached to terminals 2 and 3. Then the negative wire from the thermocouple is also connected to terminal 3, with the positive wire connected to terminal 4. Last, here is the correct wiring when using two three-wire RTDs. Note that for the first RTD, the single red wire is attached to terminal 1, and the two white wires are connected to terminals 2 and 3. Then, for the second RTD, the two green wires are connected to terminals 3 and 4, with the single black wire connected to terminal 5. Note that there are two wires attached to terminal 3. Next, insert the power wires and attach to the positive and negative terminals. After wiring is complete, a field communicator, like the 475, can be used to configure the sensor. First, attach the communicator to the transmitter's power inputs. Note that between 250 and 1100 ohms resistance must be in series for correct functioning. From the home screen on a 475, click Configure, Guided Setup, and then Configure Sensor. A warning screen appears explaining that the device must be removed from automatic control. Press OK. Then choose Configure Sensor 1 and press Enter. Scroll through the list to find the sensor type of your attached sensor and press Enter. If you selected an RTD, choose the correct number of wires and press Enter. Press Enter again to continue the configuration. Select your preferred engineering units and press OK on the following warning screen. Enter your preferred damping value and then select if you want the transient filter enabled. Repeat this process for sensor 2 and select Exit and then press the Home button to get back to the home screen. The sensor should now be correctly configured. For more information on dual sensor wiring and configuration for the 3144P transmitter, please see the Quick Start Guide or go to the Emerson website 